I'm Nurse Crystal and I am your nurse for today. Mommy, I know what is your name. How about your age? Okay, ma'am. Mom, always remember that I am here to help and guide you before, during, and after your delivery, okay? Mommy, I know. How are you feeling right now? Oh, but ma'am, your cervix is not yet fully dilated. It is only 8 cm. Yes, ma'am, but always remember that I am here to support you. Just relax and calm down. You can also use the breathing pattern or technique like you can inhale using your nose and then exhale using your mouth. Okay, ma'am, like this. Okay, ma'am, very good. And then, take note also that you can eat and drink before your delivery, okay? Okay, ma'am, thank you. In preparation for delivery, first you need to check the room temperature and it should be 25 to 28 degrees Celsius. Make sure that this is free from any air drops. And then I will be using this paper. And if this paper is directly fell into the ground, it means the room is free from any drops. But if this paper fell from the other ways or sides, it means that we need to check and close all the windows and doors. So let's see. Okay, the paper fell directly into the ground and we achieved the desired room temperature. Second, we need to check the client's comfort. We need to check if the mother is comfortable with her semi-upright position. Mommy, I know if you are comfortable with your position now. Okay, thank you ma'am. Semi-upright and total position are the default positions for the delivery session. Okay, and then we need also to remove all the jewelries we have before the delivery of the baby. Okay, and now we can prepare the materials and we have three pairs of gloves, two warm blankets, and I just have a uh, improvised cord set and then the erythromycin eye care, vitamin K, hepatitis B shot, and now we can perform the hand hygiene or hand washing following the prescribed five counts. After washing your hands, you can now put the gloves. Make sure that it is a double gloving and make sure to wear your face mask. Okay, and then at the time of delivery, always encourage the mother to push. Okay, mommy, just relax and take a deep breath. Inhale, exhale, push. Inhale, exhale, push. Okay, mommy, just relax. One, two, three, push. One, two, three, push. And then grab a dry clean linen. And put it across the mother's abdomen and arms in preparation for the drying of the baby. Always um, provide perennial support and control in the delivering of the fetal head or in the baby's head. Okay? One, two, three, push! One, two, three, push! One more time. One, two, three, push! And then you can now call out the time and gender. Baby girl out at 2.14 a.m. These are the materials that we are going to use. Three pairs of gloves, two warm blanket, the improvised erythromycin egg care, vitamin K and hepatitis B shot, and then the cord set. And then we have also the kidney basin. Immediate and thorough dry the baby's face. And then the eyes the head front and back, trunk, arms, and legs. And do it for at least 0 to 3 minutes. Take note that the suction of the mouth and nose should not be done for babies born through clean amniotic fluid, who start breathing on their own after birth. And then you can now remove the wet cloth. 
And then, place the baby into skin-to-skin -skin contact on the mother's abdomen and breast. Okay? And then, place the newborn's back with the blanket. Cover the baby. And then, the bonnet. Okay. And then, place also the identification band of the ankle. Okay. And then, you can now remove the first uh, gloves prior to the cutting of the umbilical cord. can establish mother and child bonding. It minimizes also the risk of cystic and hypoglycemia. It also established in the breastfeeding success, lymphoid tissue system stimulation, exposure to maternal flora, and thermoregulation. Take note also that the if the baby is crying and breathing normally, avoid any manipulation such as routine sanctioning that may cause any trauma or uh, introduce infection to the newborn. For the proper time cord clamping, it must be done within 1 to 3 minutes. And then clamp the cord after cord pulsations have stopped. Typically, at least 1 to 3 minutes. Okay? And then we can now put ties tightly. And I will be using this improvised uh, cord clamp for at least 2 cm. Okay? Clamp it. Okay. Then I will be using the second cord clamp for at least 5 cm from the newborn's abdomen. And then this will be the look. Okay. And then next, we will be cut them using this sterile instrument. Okay. Let's cut them. Okay. And then, don't forget to roll it using the sterile instrument or the scissor, okay? And then, we will be putting this in the kidney basin. And then, also, observe for aazing uh, blood, of course, and do not milk the cord towards the newborn. And then, after cord clamping is given, we will be ensure the oxytocin 10 IUIM to the mother, Okay, intramuscular. Okay. Okay, mother, I will be injecting this oxy oxytocin to you, okay? Deep breath, mother. Okay, we're done now. Discard the syringe, okay? And then the purpose of giving oxytocin injection to the mother is to prevent hemorrhage or excessive bleeding after the vaginal birth, okay? Perform the remaining steps of the active management for the next stage of labor. And then wait for a strong uterine contraction, then apply controlled contraction in the uterine, continuing until the delivery of the placenta. And then massage the uterus until it is burned, then inspect the lower vagina and for any lacerations. And then get the placenta now. And then after that, you need to put the placenta on the basin or in the kidney basin, like here. And then after the placenta has been delivered, examine and check if it is complete or it has any abnormalities. Okay? The placenta is complete and it has no abnormalities. And then the placenta is shocked. And then clean the mother by flushing the perineum and apply perineal pad, napkin, or cloth. And then check the baby color and breathing. Okay? The baby's color and breathing is normal. And then I'll check also the mother if she is comfortable in the, uh, if the uterus is constructed. 
and then dispose the placenta in a leak-proof container or plastic bag. Then decontaminate now all the equipments or instruments that you have used. For the last step, for the non-separation of the newborn from the mother, it takes within 90 minutes. Okay? And then first, leave the newborn in the skin-to-skin -skin contact like this. And then secondly, help the mother and the baby in a comfortable position. Okay, mother, are you comfortable? Okay, comfortable. For the third, observe feeding cues like tonguing, licking, or rooting. It also may seem to from the mouth opening, little licking and sucking, bringing hands to mouth, moving head as if looking for the mother's nipple, clenching of the face and fingers over the tummy, and then bending the arms and legs, and then lastly for the fussiness. And then point this out to the mother and then encourage her to nudge newborn towards the breast. And then you can now uh, carry out the eye care and the immunization procedure. Okay? We can now administer the eye ointment to the baby. Okay? And then after administering the uh, eye ointment, we need to do the physical examination to the baby. Okay? The baby is normal. And then now we are now going to administer the vitamin K. Okay, for the vitamin K, we have 0.5 ml IM vastus lateralis or in the right leg of the baby. Okay. IM. Then discard the syringe. And then next, we are going to have the hepatitis B. Okay. For the hepatitis B, we have also 0.5 ml IM vastus lateralis or in the leg, uh, left leg of the baby. Left leg. over the baby again and then don't forget to discard the syringe after administering the eye ointment uh, the vitamin K and the hepatitis B we can now room in the mother and advise her to um, continuously or exclusively breastfeed her baby within six months okay and this is now the baby this is now the baby